Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso on SABC3. And to kick off our Friday, we have a very special guest. Now, we first introduced Mzanzi to the young and passionate film director, directing talent that is Katya Abedin Rohani when she was only 19 years old, having just screened her first short film called Skin Diver. And three years later, her work has been featured in festivals across Europe and Africa. She has worked on music videos for some of SA's hottest talent and she is one of South Africa's ambassadors for Girls in Film, a global platform for female filmmakers. Please welcome her back onto her couch and it's now your couch. <laughs> it's all yours, Katya. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so glad that I get to sit down with you guys now as well because you guys had a good chat about being a wife now but now let's go back. You've had such an interesting uh, journey in film and also had so many highlights not only in a, on a national front but also on an international level. Take Take us back in a way that all started for you. So it really started um, from when I finished school, I decided I need to do whatever I can to make film and to see if this is something that I actually can do and love. And I, you know, sold my TV, did whatever I could. And that was, you know, Skin Diver. And since then, it's really just been a very intuitive journey. There's been a lot of you know, mistakes or, or learnings that I've gone through, deciding not to go to film school, deciding to kind of go into the film industry more practically and work with producers who believe in me, work with, you know, people I can learn from on set. So I've had a very practical journey and learning through film and that's worked for me. And, you know, really everyone's journey is different. Some people need film school for some structure, but I was very clear on, you know, directing and writing and I, I really knew what I was interested in, so that allowed me to just jump in and kind of figure it out. Um, and since then, it's been amazing how opportunities have opened up to work with, you know, very amazing musicians in South Africa, um, to work with people I just admire from a photography point of view and film, and how, how much learning has been done just by, you know, like I said, jumping in practically yeah. um, and following your intuition and seeing, you know, who where does it feel right and what am I interested in telling and what doesn't feel so right and, and going like that. Um, and I still very much feel like I'm just in the beginning, you know? I mean, yeah, I have, I have so much that I'm trying to work on and trying to develop and refine and it's, yeah, I feel like I've just done, uh, stepped my little toe in. So it's just the beginning, you know? It is the beginning of what's going to be a very fulfilling and illustrious career for you and yeah. you've done so much already. And I think it speaks to that you had a vision and you had a direction that you want to take your career in, which a lot of people are still trying to figure out when they start, which is already yeah. your, your advantage point. Now, being in the film industry, having had the experience you've had, how would you say of females represented in the film industry? Well, I think like anywhere, anywhere in the world, in any industry, there's a lot of space for, for women to take up more space, for yeah. female, um, you know, female voices and visions and ideas to, to take up space. And that's really lacked in the film industry I mean, in, in all industries, mm. but I guess the film industry is one where you see it working, you, you, you can see it all happening and you can tell very obviously where there's a lack of, you know, female sensitivity or female intuition or whatever. Yeah. So, um, I mean, I, I haven't had bad experiences in the film industry, luckily. I, many women have had many bad experiences, yeah. which I haven't, but I, I have noticed a lack of just female presence and female direction and female, you know, females in, in all spaces. Yeah. Um, so it's been, it's been a learning also as a woman how to become more and more comfortable with taking up that space and with, you know, being in a position of kind of giving direction and, and um, being comfortable in that, in that role. Yeah. And, and also not being, you know, working with people who also respect that and who also are trying to push women forward as, as you know, Because they can do males. it too. And yeah. because it really requires everyone to work together and they, everyone has to believe that we need to open doors and, and give up, uh, you know, like males giving up their seats to allow women to come into those spaces because they yeah. want that as well. 
Yeah. I, I, I also want to ask you how you got involved in being an, an ambassador for this and being just a female representation that's saying, yes, I'm taking up space. Yes, I'm here. There's a seat for me and cementing your own way and also a very interesting way indeed. Yeah, it's really an honor. Um, I'm an ambassador along with two other amazing females, um, Hale Hala and Khale. And, all, and together we're really trying to create spaces that we never had and create a sense of mentorship and guidance and really with girls in film to create a space for femme, non-binary, female, um, identifying people to have access to resources, um, learn, you know, how can I fund my films? How can I write better? How can I find people who I need to work on this project? Um, or who just have questions about, you know, directing or writing or producing or whatever it is, and they don't know, you know, who to go to, who mm. to turn to, to ask those questions and the little nitty gritty things. And so it's been amazing to have the space that we are, again, just in the very beginning of and to be able to see how can we, you know, open spaces for those conversations? How can we be there for people in a way um, that we always wanted and we never had? Um, you know, even in a virtual way that it, it can be, you know, someone who's sitting in a, in a town in Durban or, or East London or whatever, they can, they can contact us and connect to us. Um, and again, that, that really happened for me through just being open to who's out there and, and meeting people in a very intu intuitive, natural way um, that landed me to be able to be an ambassador for Girls in Film, which is really an honor. And so. you're setting a great example. So definitely check out Girls in Film. They're on Facebook as well as Instagram and visit their website, girlsinfilm.net for more information. Katya, it's been amazing hearing your side of the things. You're a big inspiration to a lot of women who are intimidated to enter the film space and you are setting the boundaries that, hey, it's okay for us to be there. But you're gonna be hanging out with us for the rest of the morning alongside yes. your husband and of course we love speaking all things movies and when it comes to the TV what is happening on SABC this weekend